Greetings and welcome to another one of those videos. Those meaning the talk that I only do on a personal level and may or may not have anything to do with Second Life. If you are here for Second Life content, sorry to disappoint, but this is not the video that you are looking for. I'll begin by saying I am currently wearing one of my pairs of new glasses. Yes, these are physical world glasses. They are progressive bifocals with transitions and anti-glare. Paid $683. I did get two pair. I did not realize that each lens is priced independently. I thought because glasses come as a pair due to having two sets of lenses, it would be priced for both lenses together. Nope. 203 bucks for each lens in one pair and 120 bucks for each lens in the second pair. Thankfully, my state doesn't charge taxes on vision wear, so in that regard, I'm lucky. These frames I love. However, the lenses are something that I'm either going to have to get used to or, well, rather hope my brain adjusts or I'm just going to have to try something else. I got the widest progressive available to lessen the side view distortions. The bottom part is for up close and the top and the top part is for far away. The trick is knowing where to look and not using my eye movements to look around but to use my nose to aim at where I want to look. That's going to take some time to get used to. This is the first time I've had anything put into lenses to aid me with up close vision. Thank goodness, I touch type and don't need to look at the keyboard to type. My second pair I'll have in a few days, and I'll be using those for the computer. Those were specifically ordered because I wanted the same frames I had for my previous glasses. They were discontinued, but the vision helper person tracked down a pair in a teal color. Those I didn't get with all the premium fancies progressive. Just the standard, didn't get the transitions, but did get the anti-blue lot because I'll be using those for the computer. So they were about 200 bucks cheaper than these brain deceiving things that I'm currently wearing. So I'm looking forward to those. So after I got my glasses, I wanted to try out reading a drive through menu. As before with my old glasses, I couldn't read the drive through menus anymore. I went to Bojangles to try out my new glasses. I was able to read the menu much better. Ordered two sausage biscuits and some bowberry biscuits for my mom as a surprise. The man who took my money and gave me my bag was nice. He was a damn Yankee, but was nice. Now, before anybody gets upset, let me explain damn Yankee. A Yankee is a person up north and they stay up north a damn yankee is a yankee that moves to the south and they don't leave that's a damn yankee all right it, it is what it is okay if you get offended by that then well i guess you don't appreciate history or whatever anyway moving on so this is what happened the bowberry biscuits come in their own little container and he handed me the bowberry biscuits and he said, here are your bowberries. And I said, oh, thank you. And then he handed me the bag with the biscuits in them. As he was handing me the bag with the biscuits in them, he said, here are your sandwiches. I was appalled. I felt insulted. I felt violated. Biscuits are not sandwiches. It's Bojangles. It's a biscuit place. But all I said was thank you and took the bag and slowly drove off, shaking my head in utter disbelief that he just referred to biscuits as sandwiches. And he said sandwiches in that New York Yankee way. Just, just, it, it just, oh. It, it it was Yankee fied. But to refer to the biscuits as sandwiches 
was absolutely beyond the pale. It's Bojangles. If you aren't Southern, you may not see the problem. But if you are Southern, I know you do see the problem. Sure, okay? It's a silly thing to go on about. But it's the principle. When I lived in England for almost half of my adult life, did I call scones biscuits? No, because scones are made with eggs and biscuits are not. I made a point to use the same verbiage as British people in order to fit in better and to be able to communicate better even with my southern twain. I worked very hard to understand the differences, the culture, all the things that one should do in order to fit into a new life. And here I am in my home state and I'm at the Bojangles and a damn Yankee calls my biscuits sandwiches. I felt a wash of uncomfortableness course through my veins. How can something so simple and so everyday turn out to be done so very wrong? I never expected to go through the drive through at Bojangles and be told, here are your sandwiches, when I ordered biscuits. Yes, I realize this may seem a very dull, trivial, and stupid thing to people, but to me, man, it, 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 it shocked me. It really, really got to me. Maybe it's the PTSD and the surprise of something that I never would have expected to happen, happened is why it caused such a reaction in me. Remember, actions are involuntary, whilst responses are voluntary. Fortunately, I didn't respond to the guy by correcting him, for that would have been rude. It's not my place to correct him and what he is selling. But my reaction, not controllable, and I blame that on the PTSD. Anything at the time, at any time, could cause a PTSD trigger, a body memory, a flashback, or that same feeling that I felt when I was going through trauma. And in this case, it was a bag of actual biscuits being handed to me, yet were referred to as sandwiches. And the more that I think about it, the more I try to figure, figure out as to the reaction I had, the more I realize that I think it goes back to when my ex ass hat would create doubt in my mind, use a different name for something of which he insisted was the correct name to call it. And when I use that same word in public, people would laugh at me because it was in fact the wrong word to have used. That's being gaslit, and he loved doing it. Over time, I stopped trying to debate with him over it and just believe whatever he said as I was too far gone in my own independent thinking to trust my own mind. So when the Bojangles guy referred to my biscuits, sandwiches, it set off a flashback of being gaslit. I think that is what happened. I did order two sausage biscuits. The wrapper says sausage biscuits. Nowhere does it say sandwiches. I'm going to do some fact checking. Are they sandwiches because the guy who handed the bag to me called them sandwiches? No. Does Bojangles even sell sausage sandwiches? No. Does Bojangles sell sausage biscuits? Yes. When I opened up the bag and took the biscuit out of the wrapper, was it indeed a biscuit with a sausage patty on it? Yes. What can I do in the future to avoid that situation? Don't go to that particular Bojangles again. Would it have lessened the reaction if I corrected the guy by telling him they are biscuits and not sandwiches? It would have been confrontational and also rude. I do not regret not correcting him. Biscuits are not sandwiches. This is fact. Oh, man, that was... Oh. I had to get the biscuit thing off my chest. Topping it up is one thing, 
but I had to hear me say those words for myself. Otherwise, it would have just saturated my mind to the point of questioning my reality. And I know, I know how crazy and how stupid, how all of that, what I just said sounds. But to me, it, it, it is what it is. And I reacted and felt the way that I did because of, I got trauma history. It, it, ah, uh, it's just one of those things. I mean, and this is why this is one of those type of videos. Cause you know, this is uh, the type of uh, thing that I do on this channel to, you know, for, pure selfish reasons <laughs> just to get this kind of stuff out there um yes i do have a therapist but don't, that that's a whole different another kind of video that i may or may not do i don't know i mean she's 25 my therapist is 25 and uh, i uh gave her an example of the type of things that happen to me in my abusive marriage, she reacted in a way that uh, a friend would have reacted. She screamed out, oh my God, and that's just weird, this type of stuff, right? Which is totally not the correct and professional way a therapist should react. I know this. And that's when I realized I, I I guess I won't be telling her much of anything else. I mean, she's, she's new, right? She hasn't had that experience enough to not be desensitized, desensitized to things that people tell her, but to not react so heavily. I mean, it was a pure reaction. Therapists, they should respond. They shouldn't react, you know, so. But I'm going to stick with her, right? because she does the uh, EMDR and that's something that I've been wanting to try out because I've been told and I've, I've done research on it that it's really helpful for uh, trauma-based therapy. I mean, I wasn't going to go into therapy tomorrow and tell her about the biscuits not being sandwiches because I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, that's all I wanted to say. Um, shout out to the OG realist who get why I do these types of videos. Uh, thanks for listening. Those that are new, all I can say is, well, it's my channel. Do I feel better? I feel more connected than I did a couple hours ago. Um, I don't feel saturated as much. Do I feel stupid? No, I don't feel stupid. <laughs> it is what it is, right? You know, I mean, you feel what you feel. No feeling is right. No feeling is wrong. You just feel what you feel. And I just expressed how something made me feel. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll see y'all next video. Bye.